Hey guys, today's gonna be the first video of TBM Forage. This is gonna what's gonna the playlist is gonna be called. It stands for Trill Beat Music Forage, just to make it short and it doesn't sound weird. But with that being said, we are just gonna use this most simplest down-to-earth tools for right now. So for those of y'all interested in making swords or foraging or blacksmithing, uh, that's the most common name for it. Um, I'll be showing a little list in the description on what I use to find all this, where I found all of this, what's the cheapest way to get all this stuff because most of the stuff you can either, either get for cheap or below $20. I think the most expensive stuff was uh, steel pipe and the fire brick and that's pretty much it. Um, with that being said, I am going to go through the little list right now. So as you can see right here is a wooden crate and I got that off of someone off of Facebook Marketplace for fifteen dollars and then you can see me holding a welding mask and that's really to protect your lungs from any of the fumes or you could say vapors of any metals that you may be foraging because it does release fine particulates and that can get into your lungs and cause havoc it can wreak a lot of havoc even to causing lung cancer but if you're in a well ventilated area like outdoors you should be fine but i would urge you to get a welder's mask or any protection for the meanwhile until you can get a 3m mask that i got that specific model from harbor freight for about 29 yes is over 20 dollars but it really protects your health and i would highly advise that now dirt you can get it for free pretty much anywhere like on facebook marketplace or any home projects that you have that involves the garden or you can just go look to any alleyway that's out of dirt and obviously be respectful and just find where you can source dirt from without causing trouble now over here I have the fire bricks that I was talking about each box comes with six and I believe they're like $28 each so if you get two boxes like I did it would be probably like $60 anything I'm gonna leave the links in the description and this is the drill bit that I use to make the hole where you're gonna put the holes in that way you can get the air that's going to allow you to get the temperatures that you need to forge metal. As you see me struggle with the, <laughs> with the Amazon um, drill that I got a while back. Um, the only reason why it's struggling is because I don't know if you can notice there's a wood plank on the other side that uh, acts as support for the box. But it's to be honest for show at this point. So it's causing uneven. Um, it's making it very unbalanced and uneven and hard for it to get a good cut in. Now the drill bit itself was about 14 through $9, I can leave it in the description, but um, you can outsource any drill bit that's for wood, um, whatever you have laying around to do this, I just had the exact, wanted to get the exact cut for the exact pipe I had. And there you go, there goes the beauty of making the exact cut. Now you can see the two hammers I got, one from Harbor Freight and the DeWalt from Home Depot, the lighter fluid, the rebar from Home Depot, and also uh, the lighter fluid I got from Kroger for pretty cheap, and the uh, railroad track is what we're going to talk about, because the drill you can find anywhere for cheap if you want to get cordless or cord, that's really budget options, that one that I have is $80 on Amazon, and the railroad track I got from someone from Facebook Marketplace, it's obviously made of 100% steel, uh, awesome grade for um, blacksmithing, because knowing that steel amples cost like hundreds of dollars that one you can get for fifty dollars that's how much i paid for it for someone selling it on facebook market and there goes the bricks that i got the exact brand the wood chips and the charcoal the wood chips and charcoal i got below twenty dollars at home depot the shop back is a commercial grade it's for twenty dollars i found from someone on facebook marketplace and that's what i'm using to blow air you can see the fittings if you want to pause it you can see the sides uh, that I got to connect the shot back to a steel pipe that I got from um, Home Depot and here goes the vice I got from Harbor Freight that was $15 I believe and it was pretty cheap it swivels around and actually you don't need to drill it in you can just attach it to the table for what we're doing is which is blacksmithing uh, I don't really see the need of bolting it down at the moment now for the hose of uh, connecting the hose to the actual steel pipe to make the airflow in. This is the easiest way I had laying around. Obviously you can use a flathead screwdriver, but I couldn't find that. I had only a wrench set, so here's what I used. And funny thing about that, I didn't really think it was going to work because I spent like an hour deciding, oh, well, is this even going to work? So I was like, might as well try. And this is me actually getting more dirt from a back alley behind my house. Um, it needed to be smoothed out either way, so win-win. Um, now right here this is what I was able to do with the bricks that I had and if anything it's protecting the forge itself so it's all you really need and this is the whole contraption with the shot back 
And right now you're going to see the airflow. Just focus on the little debris that's getting flown out the way. And it's more than enough what you need for the forge that we're going to do. And this is the wood chips. The reason why I'm putting the wood chips is for that the coal, can, the fire doesn't extinguish when it's heating up the coal. It has something right there to heat up since it's a lot easier to heat up wood than coal if you've done barbecuing yourself. And as you're going to see, I'm going to be adding lighter fluid here and there. That way it can heat up and the flame can really grow. And if anything, I didn't even use half of the lighter fluid. It was really easy because of the shot back blowing air into it, giving the, the flame some fuel, which is obviously oxygen if you know. You should know. <laughs> but, yeah, here's me adding some more coals to it. Uh, and then here's the whole thing in its little glory that I have. And for the meantime, I'm just going to be adding lighter fluid that way it can heat up. And soon you're going to see me put a, a stick of rebar into there uh, as soon as I get it up to heating temperature. It's still going to take some time for the rebar to heat up. But after you get it heat up initially, it becomes more easier to heat up. So with that being said, this is some ASMR as far as blacksmithing goes. And if you stay tuned, I'm going to be adding some more videos that I wasn't able to take. Um, with the actual, that way you can see the whole rebar glowing white and at one point the blade actually began to melt from how hot it got. Now for those who don't know me and are new to this channel, I am also a Christian artist and I also preach. I do a Q&A series if you want to check that out. I'm going to leave a little card up here. But with that being said, I strongly believe in the Word of God. I am strong with my faith. And I like to share that to whoever is interested. So this is a starting video. This is a how-to video. So I'm not going to do any preaching for today. But in future videos, just be prepared for that if you're new to this channel or if you're intrigued. Um, you can also learn more about the blades I'm making. I'm obviously just starting right now, but I wanted to help other people as well. So with that being said, um, next week's video is going to be about me sharpening the blade. I'm going to go into how I learned how to sharpen the blade from different sources that I've learned from, also from different YouTubers as well. Um, the whole reason and the whole way I figured out how to do this myself was obviously praying to God, but as well as getting led to other people who are more into that information and by that means acquiring the wisdom to do so through the grace of God. Um, but with that being said, um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like, please share, please subscribe. And you can look at the end cards if you want to go look at the Q&A series if you have any questions about faith as well. Or if you just want to just intrigue, if you want to look, you're more than welcome to look. Um, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. I really hope this helps start off um, with your blacksmithing as far as you just starting. Take caution and uh,